Hello everyone and welcome to PC Academy. In this video we're going to be replacing the top plate with keyboard and mouse pad on a Lenovo 330S. So without further ado let's get straight into the video and make a start. So what we have here um, is the laptop, the Lenovo, that's got a severe crack right there, which I shall zoom into so that you can see it. It's right next to the home button, but you'll see as we flex it, the crack is right across there. Okay, so I've already removed the screws um, from the base so that I could take a proper look at that damage because I was rather hoping that I could maybe just glue the plastic um, but where the actual crack is it's actually on the top plate and it's right next to the home button so I'm not going to be able to glue that on this occasion so what I have done is I've ordered a brand new top plate um, so all the components are going to have to be moved from this one onto here um, and Everything should be absolutely fine once we've done that. So the first thing we're going to do is get the screen completely removed from the base itself. So that's going to be the first job. So we shall remove the hinge screws first. And then any wiring that is linked to the screen as well just lift that so that it flexes up the hinges and then we can see what we're working with then so we're going to try and remove this top heat plate Okay, so that's the shield um, removed. What we'll do now, I think, um, is just disconnect the battery. So we'll get that out of the way as well. Okay, just got to be careful here because it looks like the speaker wires run across the top there of the battery. So you don't just want to be yanking up on that and damaging that. There we go. These are quite thin wires. Okay. That lifts the battery. And now we can just disconnect it. There we go. So that's the battery now disconnected. We'll move on to the Wi-Fi card and the VGA connection, etc. Okay, so let's try and sort out the VGA one. This wraps around CPU fan. There we go. There we are, that's that disconnected. So we should be able to now take the screen away from the base completely there we go so we shall now start removing things a little bit at a time uh, taking out where they've come from so we'll start with in the midnight glow where the stars align we lose ourselves in the rhythm divine underneath the sky painted with dreams we're chasing the echoes of silent screams caught in the spell of the cosmic night where fantasies bloom in the pale moonlight we'll let go of all that we know and dance in the stardust gentle flow Dancing in the stardust We're weightless and free in a world of wonders Just you and me lost in the moment Our spirits ignite As we twirl in the magic of the cosmic light Among constellations we'll find our way Through the celestial symphony we'll sway With every 
So the CMOS battery is stuck down here. So just need to try and ease this up a little. Okay, there we go. So now we want to take out the whole board, if that's possible, as one unit and disconnect a lot less. So here we go. screw there just lift it gently a bit at a time we don't want to be rushing okay and the board comes out from there okay so this is the replacement we're going to use the same mouse pad etc for now and hope that there's not a problem with drivers if there is we'll have to swap that over from the old one but hopefully not Okay, so it's a case of now installing this back into here. So I've now tucked the little cable under the fan as it was and moved the CMOS battery a little bit higher up, just tested it with the battery so I know that the battery will fit. Okay, so all the screws appear to be back that I can see. So we shall now put the um, heat shield back in place. 
have to sort of just adjust the metal as you go along. Okay, so there are some bent pieces of metal that have to fit into little slots here and here, which I'll show you. So there's one there. And it has to fit into the slots. And there is also another one uh, there. Again, has to fit in between two little pieces of metal uh, in order for it to fit correctly. So that's the metal heat shield back in place. We're now going to go ahead and fit the battery. So push the wiring in first. And then line up the holes. Okay, that's the battery in. Now we just need to feed the speaker wire. Get this connected. Okay, so we're happy with that there. So we shall fire this laptop up now and uh, test that it all works. So we're now just doing a test that the keys are actually working, everything seems happy and the mouse pad is also working. So that's all good, we shall get the base cover now put back on. So everything went well there on the Lenovo 330S. I'm pleased to say everything's now working. So until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.